Excellent. So welcome and to join on this video where we're going to look on some of the new features in Microsoft 365. And with me is a program manager from the SharePoint, a uh, OneDrive SharePoint. This is OneDrive SharePoint Viva. I don't know what the organization name is nowadays, but <laughs> program manager from the SharePoint site, Kathy Du, who owns, um, well, I'm not going to explain what she owns. Let, let Kathy do introduce herself. So Kathy, <laughs> stage is yours. <laughs> Thanks, Vesa. So yeah, so I am Kathy Dew. Uh, we changed to product managers. Uh, so product oh, manager these days over here in OneDrive and SharePoint. And I am focused in the sites area of the SharePoint side of the world. Uh, and so what does that mean, the sites area? So I focus in a lot of the core components that cover across all of SharePoint, um, how SharePoint is connected to Teams, across Viva connections, places where you see those core components, branding, navigation, headers, footers, and then a lot of that core functionality for your sites themselves. So yeah. a lot of that great functionality. That's really, really cool. And, and, and like I said, it's also the Viva connection and inside of the Teams as stuff is getting surfaced and, and created as a template, uh, which is for sure one of the super interesting areas. Now, in this video, we wanted to focus a bit more on the, on the SharePoint online side and an app bar. Can you talk about what is a SharePoint app bar? Yeah, so the SharePoint app bar was introduced a little over a year ago and the app bar came out and it, it is a left vertical navigation component added into all modern SharePoint sites. That is a global navigation component. So it has the ability for you to set up and customize global navigation from your home site, as well as it gives you the ability to see quick access based off the user into your sites your news that you should have access to, your files, your lists, and now with our newest release into the app bar, creating content. And the great thing about the app bar is that it's on all modern pages and all modern components of your SharePoint sites. So it's consistent and it follows you everywhere so that you can have that easy access regardless of where you are. Yeah, and it's really personalized, right? So it's a context of where it's about you. So you don't have to go to another page to find your latest documents or a site. You just access them directly. That's right. Other than the global navigation, which is the very top link in the app bar, everything else is customized for the user. So it's all based off you and your usage of your SharePoint environment. So your sites, your files, your reason and followed, your favorites, all of that great content that you use and keeping you in that flow of your work. Cool. That's really, really cool. Let's, let's have a look on that in practice and let's have a look on the latest features uh, in the app bar. Sounds great. So great. Here we look at our Relicloud home site and we land in our great internet portal and we can see the app bar down the left hand side of the page. And the app bar really gives us that great landing spot, that centralized location of navigation. So here if we come in the very top, you see our global navigation. This is that great pre set up piece by our home site owner that gives us that great set of links that will follow us around consistently across every site because it's just a central core component, that global navigation of the app bar. Next, let's take a look at my sites. So with my sites, you get a lot of great content, but the best thing about my sites is that it shows me my frequent or followed and then it also shows me my recent sites. So frequent or followed switches out. If you haven't followed any sites, you'll see your frequent sites. But if you have followed sites, those would show up at the top in replacement of frequent. But recent sites also shows up. So it allows me easy access to all of those great sites that I've recently visited. So giving me quick ability to navigate around my intranet based off where I've been and what I've been involved in. So really great way to quickly get around the internet, remembering where I've been and what I might need to get back to quickly. Then as we move into my news, this gives me great highlights of the great news that's been recently published that I might need to have access to. And you see it gives me a preview, it tells me the date, talks me a little bit about the article, and I could quickly jump into any of the great news components and features that I have. 
Then jumping straight into my files. My files also gives me quick access to all of those great files that I've been interacting with, regardless of where they are. They're across multiple sites, whether they're in my OneDrive. Having that easy ability to get into those files that I've recently been working in quickly and easily. Then finally, my list jumping in and being able to quickly access those lists, whether they're in my OneDrive or in a site, being able to quickly gain access to those recent and favorite lists and being able to jump in. Now, our newest addition to the app bar is creation. So being able to create content has always been one of those pieces that's frustrating to people, being able to create sites especially. So as we go into creation, you can now see I can create sites and content from anywhere with the app bar. So I can jump into this and quickly be able to create sites. Now, granted, you have to be able to create sites in your tenant to have the sites show up. So so if your tenant has self-service site creation disabled, the site um, tab here will not show up. But if you do allow self-service site creation within your tenant, sites will show up. So no longer do you have to go back to the start page to get to that site creation. You can do it from wherever you are. So if you need a site, you need to create a new site for a project, for a team, for something that you're working on, you can create that from wherever you are, as well as creating your documents and your Excel spreadsheets and your lists. I no longer have to go straight into that document library. When I create these, it saves the initial draft in my OneDrive, just like the office.com experiences. And then when I go to save that document and name it, then I tell it which site and library I want it to be saved into. So it's a really great, consistent experience across M365, giving you an easy way to create content from wherever you are. And like I said, this follows you across your sites, across your internet, any site that you're on, you're going to see consistently the same app bar there. Here, if I go into a different team site, that same app bar is here with the same content showing up. So I have that exact same ability to get into that same content. And not only that, because the app bar is a core component, the app bar shows up if I'm using Viva Connections in Teams as well. So I can go into Teams, into my Viva Connections app, and when I double click on this icon for my Viva Connections, my app there in Teams, now my app bar, that same great content is replicated here in Teams. And you can see how the app bar plays such a core vital role for SharePoint, for your intranet, and giving you access into that content that you really need. So so we're really excited to have creation be a part of the app bar, giving you the ability to create content easily from wherever you are, as well as to see more people using the app bar and being able to navigate and get access to what they need. So that was actually really, really cool. And it's it's great that you actually showed how it gets integrated across the sites. And again, it's it's everywhere you are you are in the SharePoint Online, including the Viva Connection. So if you're in Teams, you can get access on that information as well. That's that's really, really great. Um any any new features which are coming up, that that's kind of the situation what we have right now as we are recording this in autumn 2022, or maybe you can say September 2022 to be precise, because we're rolling out all the time new features. But anything what's coming up uh, um, uh, what, what, what the future will bring. Yeah, so with the app bar in creation, you might have noticed an aspect missing. So right now, we do not have the ability to create pages and news as a part of the app bar creation experience, but we are actively working on create for pages and news. And so you will see creation for pages and news coming in the near future. So we're looking at potentially sometime in the January 2023 timeframe is currently what we're looking at. Um, and so we're looking to have that be the next piece of this. So then being able to create sites, content, pages, and news from anywhere. So really exciting to be able to create that um, content from everywhere and to have pages and news to help us complete the creation cycle. 
that's really, really cool and, and awesome work. And it's, it's great to have those new features coming up as well. But thank you, Cathy, uh, on joining on this uh, quick intro on the on the feature. Um, and this is probably it's super valuable for sure uh, for customers and partners to understand what are the new features and capabilities which we have. Thank you.